Hey everybody, so in today's video, we are going to look at how we can integrate tax waiver with open source LLMs. So in my previous video, we looked at tax waiver and how we can integrate that with open API keys. So I'm going to attach the link below so you can look at it. All right, so we are going to use LM Studio that has a bunch of open source LLMs. Okay, so you can just go in there and download each or any of the versions depending on the kind of system that you have. Okay, so when it's downloaded and installed, it should take you to a UI like this one, which has a bunch of open source models that you can select from. Okay, so you can just type in your model name like Mistral and you hit go. Okay, so it should take you to a bunch of models that you can select from. All right, so I already have my here, which is the Dolphin 2.1 menstrual that is going to be used for this demonstration. All right, so you can just go in here on the double arrow signs, it should take you to where we're gonna start the local server. All right, so you make sure these are on. And you, so before we start, let's go into our VS code. All right, so I have the instructions on how you can install Tax Weaver. So I already have that in my previous video. So I'm just gonna walk you through how this is set up. So you make sure you have Python 3.10 and above or above, and you go to, you clone, git clone, and you do a CD tax weaver, change directory to tax weaver, and you pip install your requirements. And we are gonna direct that to this path. Okay, which contains the project. It's pretty easy. So it's the same instruction that we have here. Show you, already have the same instructions here. So you can just follow it as well. Okay. All right, so we have the same instructions here. All right, so let's get back to VS Code. Okay, so I'm gonna say, Right, so just copy. So you can just do a clone. Is it here? Right. So so when you paste it there, you do a CD. Paper. Okay. So I'm going to say enter and it takes you here. So you make sure you have this folder that is cloned. And the next thing is I already have my pip install set up. So you do pip install this. All right, I already have that already installed. Okay, so demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna say pip install. So when you hit enter, it's gonna install all the packages. And the next thing is to direct this to the path where we have the project. Okay, so let's see. Right, so when I say All right, so we have the tax waiver ready to start. Okay, so in here, in this tax waiver folder, we look for project, and within project, we go to the configuration. So in here, you make sure you have the, the host, the API base, which is this one here. All right, so we can just copy this and you paste it there. 
And for the API key, you can just make up any numbers. I, you can do it now or any, so I decided to put this there. You can change it. And the model name, okay. So the model name is the dolphin. Okay, so we can, can just copy that. You can do, you know, you copy the name, copy file name. You can just copy the file name and you paste it here. And the LLM.response, you make sure it's text. Okay. And it allows us to connect to the LM Studio because the API doesn't really support the JSON format. So we just specify it to text. Okay, when that is done, we go to make sure everything is safe. And now let's start our server. Okay. So let's do start server. And it's loading the model. All right, so as you can see, it is running. So server running on port one, two, three, four. So these we are connected. So what I means tax waiver is ready to answer questions. So I'm going to say print test five prime numbers. Okay, so we just give it a simple instruction and let's hit enter. Pull this up and let's wait. Okay, let's see. All right, it has started. So let's give it a few. Right, so as you can see, it has started the conversation between the code interpreter and the planner. Okay, so I really encourage you to watch my first video, which has a lot of the basics on how this works. Okay, so let's give it a few. All right, so as you can see, we have our outputs generated and it shows from the LM Studio. Okay, so as you can see, the initial plan, I said print first five prime numbers. So the initial plan is generate a list of prime numbers, extract the first prime numbers from the list. You export the results to the user. All right, so this is just a, um, a simple instruction that I'm giving out to the tax waiver. Okay, so and it's giving the, this, so this is the plan, extract a code interpreter to generate a list of prime numbers and extract the first five prime numbers from the list. So report the results to the user and the current plan, report the results and sent to the user. And the message is the first prime numbers are two, three, five, seven, All right? Okay, so great, it's giving me the output. All right, so this is what I wanted to show you um, tax waiver integrating with open source LLM so you can use any open source. So for small open source models, I actually use the quantized version. Okay, so that is the Dolphin Minstrel. Okay, so you can change it to any model that you like. And sometimes you can see the small open source, the quantized models struggle with the logic and reasoning um, and the context understanding of the um, of the prompt that you put in. So it is very important to modify your prompt as and when needed. Okay. All right. All right. So let me know in the comment section below what you were able to build with this. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and share and see you in the next one.